If you're in Maryland and you're thinking about utilizing the Burr strategy, I'm glad I have your attention because I want to talk to you guys about doing the Burr strategy, and I want to partner with you to get a Burr deal gun. Ah! Ah! I screwed up my words, but you know what? We don't cut around here. I'm one take Jimmy, and I want to partner with you to get a Burr deal done. <laughs> Let's jump into it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is not One Take Jimmy. I mean, I guess it is, but it's also James Wise, right? James Wise, and I'm here to work with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Today, guy I've been working with for quite a while, investor client of mine, his name is Terry. Terry's from Stevensville, Maryland. That's, that's why I started the show talking about Stevensville. It'd be crazy if, like, because the house is not in Maryland either. The house is in Ohio. What if Terry was from, like, Boise, Idaho? Terry's from Boise, Idaho, house is in Ohio, and I'm just fucking up here talking about Maryland for some ungodly fucking reason. That'd be wild, wouldn't it? No. Uh, house is in Ohio, but Terry's obviously not in Ohio. Terry's in Maryland, right? What, what, what do Ohio and Maryland have to do with anything? What is, what's going on, James? You said we're doing bird deals in Maryland. Mm. Terry's in Maryland. Terry's doing a bird deal. But the property he's going to burr is out here in Ohio with me. Because I'm the on-the-ground crew. Not like me personally. Like, I'm not fucking painting your house, Terry. Don't get any ideas. But my crew is going to paint your house, do a bunch of repairs. We're going to help you do a bird deal. I think this is a good deal, uh, partly because it's in an area that I know you love. I know you're all about that naval base. Also, because you're having issues with your lender, but you have more than enough cash to take the deal down now, and then you could burr it out down the road. And that's the thing, right? That's where Maryland comes into play, right? Terry, you got 90 Gs. That's way more than enough money to take this deal down cash, okay? And when it's all said and done, I think you're only going to leave 7500 into the deal. We're looking at a 52% potential ROI with this bird deal. That's why you partner with me. That's why you're coming here. My team does all the on-the-ground work, and we do that work in markets where it makes sense, right? In Maryland, where you're from, Stevensville, the numbers just aren't there. There's not inventory to do a deal like this over there, right? We don't invest just based on where we live, folks. We go where the money is, right? And when you work with us, you don't have to follow. You could follow with your investment, but you could still live in Maryland, do what you do, right? Live where you want, invest where it makes sense. And right now, where we're at, Northeast Ohio, the deals here make a lot more sense than they do there, so why not take advantage of it? I'm going to show you how to structure the whole thing from your home in Maryland right now. Two, please. Welcome back. Now, <clears throat> this bird deal, all right? Here's what you need to know about a bird deal, okay? It's going to be messy. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a shit show, right? Burr, buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. You buy a jacked up house. Ba bam It's a jacked up house in a jacked up situation for a low amount of money. Renovate it. Do a refinance. The refinance, the ARV, so to speak, should be higher than your purchase price and acquisition costs, right? To get a deal like that to happen, you got to buy distressed assets, okay? You got to buy a problem. And this, this is definitely somebody's problem. This thing's a whole big mess, okay? So if you're looking for, like, everything all neat and tied up in a nice bow, nice package, you got to go turnkey, folks. Uh, if you want to make more money, you want to get that big payoff, you got to do a messy deal. And that's exactly what this thing is. But the payoff is going to be big, okay? 1002, so 1002, West 22nd, Lorraine, Ohio. By the way, I love Lorraine. It's in the Cleveland market, Northeast Ohio. Love this area. Uh, they've just announced they're going to be doing like a, a naval yard or like a naval uh, base or a naval shipyard. Some big old thing with the Navy. 
Uh, and they're going to be – it's, it's going to be like a shipyard or something like that. And there's going to be like 4,000 new jobs coming to Lorraine. That's awesome, right? Town like this, 4,000 jobs, that is huge. You want to be investing in areas where good stuff's happening, right? So as you can see, house is kind of jacked up on the outside. They got a trampoline, by the way. This right here, this is bad. Now, I don't think that trampoline is in use today as I talk to you guys because there's like 10 inches of snow outside. It's February. But whenever this picture was taken, they got a trampoline. We got to get that shit out of there. You can't let your tenants have trampolines, folks. So if you're some tenant out there and you're watching this, you're like, oh, I want a trampoline. Well, fuck off. Buy a house. You can't get a fucking trampoline at one of our rentals because the insurance company will drop you. Life sucks, right? So if you want a trampoline, buy a house. That's a lesson for today. Now, there's a tenant living here. Those video games are cool. Honestly, if, like, when we evict this tenant, they leave those video games, you have to I'm – I want those. Those are mine. Dibs. Okay? I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them video games. But here's the sitch. All right? I told you, this is going to be a jacked, messed up deal. There's a tenant living in this house. What the hell? There's no drywall, right? We're missing drywall. Like, that's the insulation. This room has not been finished. It's not been painted. It's just like, you know, the, you know, the mud coat, right? It's the mud coat, and there's no drywall. Like, what's going on, right? This, I don't know what's going on, but this is a messed up situation where you got some slumlord Dude who's got like a half finished, totally unlegal house, and he's got a tenant living in there, like in a construction zone. So, like, there's no freaking ceiling, like, going in here. This is like a trap for bugs. Like, this whole thing's a mess. I do like the outside garbage can in the kitchen, though. Nice touch. Oh, they do have a fire extinguisher. So, like, this, this, this house needs a reno. And I, I don't know what's going on here, but. Uh, in my experiences, having freaking uh, thousands of rentals over the years, the only tenants that would be living in a house that's, like, not habitable are probably tenants who can't live anywhere else. So I don't know if that tenant's paying rent. I don't know what the situation is other than it's a mess and the seller's got no idea what's going on, right? So the whole thing's a mess. Just, it's just a nightmare. That's not going to be a tenant uh, relationship that we're going to be able to keep. You can't renovate the house to get it up to code and standards with them in there. Why they're in there, I have no idea. So you should assume we're going to have to remove them. Now, all that stuff is kind of a pain in the butt, but that's how we make money with bird deals. Now, they're asking 51.9, and nobody's interested. Been on the market. 121 days. Everyone's like, no, nah, screw this, dude. I don't want this mess. And I believe it used to be listed at 75, so they're coming down. What we want to do is try to pick it up for a song. We want to try to pick it up at 40, and we're going to have to get that tenant out. I don't know how messy that situation will get, but something ain't right there, okay? My spidey sense is going off, right? When you got a tenant living in a house with no walls, something ain't right, folks, okay? So we got we to gotta hit reset Start this whole thing over, right? So we're looking at a 40k acquisition price because we're buying a problem. 35k in Reno to get the thing totally put back together. Uh, updated kitchens, baths, actually have walls in there. Be, get it up to Section 8 standards. That's what we want, right? All in will be at 75. We really want it to be up to Section 8 standards though, because we want to put a Section 8 tenant in there. Why? Because there's five bedrooms in this house, man. Five bed, two baths. We should be able to get a voucher for about. 1150 man that's big money right 13,800 comes in for the year uh after fixed and variable expense estimates having my team run this thing for you you're looking at a clear noi of about seven three uh seven thousand three hundred twenty right and here's the kicker here's where it gets great here's where the burst strategy is so amazing we're gonna be all in at this thing for 75 i believe it's gonna appraise for about 90 thus meaning the bank will give us back 67 and a half so you only have to tie up seven thousand five hundred dollars in the deal that should pencil out to a 52 percent cash on cash return so is it a mess right now yes is it going to be a sticky situation removing whatever's going on with the landlord and tenant yes is it going to be easy or plausible that we're going to get exactly what the story is there we're going to get the correct and true answer from the seller before you close fuck no probably not all right that's the game folks this whole thing is a problem okay it's a problem the payoff is a 52 percent roi for taking on a problem that's why we're kicking them a lowball offer if it works cool and then we got to deal with the issues after the fact 
And if it all goes according to plan, you make 52%. That's the game. If you don't want a messy deal, you don't want to do a tough deal, you don't want to roll up your sleeves and get dirty, do not try to do a bird deal. But if you're down for all that, this one's a hell of a deal. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.